you know I'm praying. Go feed him. She got down with a son of God. You look at me and sit down for the heart. Don't stop. Bubba North Hill fans will be on live with the live stream here in about 10 minutes. This will be Northfield versus Mankato East. We'll have your lineups here in a moment.
Welcome, Raider fans. We'll be on in about five minutes. I have your starting lineups. Batting lineup for the visiting team. Leading off, number 12, Emma Petroika. Batting second, 14, Grace Mostad, the center fielder. Batting third, first baseman, Lee Hannity. Batting fourth, number 22, the pitcher, Kristen Halfmeyer. Batting fifth, number 13, Lindsey Erickson, the DP. Batting sixth, Ellie Capitino, the third baseman. Batting in the seventh position is the catcher, Libby Horman. Batting eighth, Lauren Halfmeyer. Batting ninth, Tatum Sawyer, the second baseman. Batting for Mankato East. Leading off will be Madeline Beatty, the center fielder. Carly Wingdinger, the second baseman, batting number two. Kylan Stengel, the pitcher, batting number three. Haley Petzel, the first baseman, batting in the four spot. Emily Hacker, the shortstop, should be batting fifth. Jada Spalda, the third baseman, will batting fifth. Destiny Reeser, the catcher, batting in the seventh spot. Harper Stengel, the left fielder, batting eighth. Kenley Staunton, right fielder, batting tenth.
We'll be ready to go here as soon as the coaches get done. Defensively for Mankato East. Look, Destiny Reeser behind the plate. Kellen Stengel pitching. Petzl on one. Wendinger on two. Hacker on short. Jada Swalva, three. Kenley Staunton in right. Madeline Beatty in center. Harper Stengel in left. They're going to face Emma Petrika, the shortstop, to start out. We'll come back after the national anthem.
Kaylin Stengel to lead off against Emma Petrenka, Grace Mostad, and Leah Entity. Lieutenant shortstop Peruka comes out to bat. Pitch misses outside, ball one. Ball two. Soft fly ball goes back to the shortstop to throw to first to get the out. 6 3 put out has one down here for Northfield. Sends the number two batter, the center fielder Grace Mostad, out to hit. Mostad hits a ground ball back over to the shortstop to record the out. Two up, two down here for Northfield after that 6-3 put out. Sends out the number three batter, first baseman Leah Entity. Ball high. Ball back into the net. Counts one and one. Pitch misses just outside. Brings count two and one. Stengel's pitch. Fly ball over to left field side. They'll bring that one in and get the out. So one, two, three inning for Northfield. Halfway through the first inning, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Do up for Mankato, Madeline Beatty, Carly Wendiger, Kalen Stengel.
Your defensive lineup for Northfield is going to be Rita Langford in left field, Grace Malstead in the center, Samantha Mousley in right, Ellie Capatina at three, Emma Peruca at short, Tatum Sawyer at two, Leah Ennity at one, Kristen Halfmeyer pitching, Libby Horman is catching. So Kristen Halfmeyer against Madeline Beatty throws a first pitch ball inside ball one. Ball two. Ball high and inside brings count three and oh. Ball four puts a runner on one. That'll bring out the number two batter, Carly Wendinger, in the second baseman. Pitch misses high and outside, ball two. Pitch misses low, ball three. Ball four, put a runner on two. Number three batter, the pitcher, Kellen Stengel will come out here to bat. Ball one. Strike, they'll leave in the count at one one. There's a fly ball over to the right center field that's going to drop against the fence. It's going to score a couple runs. Correction, they'll only score one on that. So Wendinger goes to third, Stengel to second. Beatty scores on that one. 
brings out the first baseman, Haley Petzl. Changeup comes in for a called strike. Pop fly goes into the glove of Halfmeyer. Look at the out. Emily Hacker, the shortstop, takes strike one. Better be hit by the ball on that one. Let alone the bases and bring out the number five batter, the number six batter, Jada Swab. One down, base is loaded. Number six batter comes out here from Mankato. Takes first pitch for called strike. Ball inside. Counts even at one on one. Soft ground ball is going to go over to the second baseman. They'll try to make a play at home. They won't get the out. Scored a single. They'll score a run. So the bases remain full. Mankato now with two on the board. Catcher Dusty Reeser comes out here to hit. Takes her first pitch for a called strike. Be hit by a pitch there. So they're going to call that a foul ball. The ruling is that she was swinging at the pitch at the time the ball made contact with her. So they bring the batter back. Ball outside. Ball tip comes off the glove of Horman. Count will advance to two and two. Changeup goes high. Count goes to three and two. Ball low. Swing a strike three, I'll get the batter. Call tip back into the glove of Horman. Runners are all held up. Brings out their left fielder, Harper Stengel. Takes first pitch for a ball. Pitch is fouled away. Counts now one on one. Last one. 
pop fly ball that's going to go over towards the second baseman, Tatum Sawyer. It's going to come off the glove of Sawyer. Mankato able to score three on that one. It's going to bring the score of 5 0 here in favor of Mankato. The number nine batter, Kaylee Staunton, is out. She's the right fielder. She's got 0 2 count. She comes around swinging on that one. We get her swinging. up here for the Raiders. It's going to be the pitcher, Kristen Halfmeyer, Lindsey Erickson, and Ellie Cappuccino, third baseman. Halfmeyer takes that first pitch, ball one. Strike is low and inside. Pitch is fouled away. Two count here for Halfmeyer. Takes that one as the ball high. Count goes to three and two. There's a fly ball over to the right field side. Able to bring that one in, they get the out. So that's one down here for Northfield. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ball high brings the count to one and one. Ball low. Two and one. Pitches in the dirt, brings the count three and one. Erickson comes around on that one. Full count. Fouls that one back into the net. Count remains full up. Ball high, I put a runner on one. So with Erickson on one. Ellie Cappuccino, the third baseman, comes out to bat. Called strike on the inside corner. Comes around swinging on that one to bring count 0 2. Swing and strike three, I get the batter. Erickson held up at one. Brings out the catcher, number 27, Olivia Horman. Take that first one, ball low. Strike one, counts now one on one. Herman comes around on that one to bring the count to one and two. She fouls that one away off the glove of Reasoner. Goes out. Count's going to remain one and two. Stiff breeze blowing in from the outfield towards home plate. Herman comes around on that one. They get her swinging. Halfway through the second inning, he scores 5-0 in favor of Mankato. Due up for Mankato, top of the lineup, Beatty, Wendinger, and Stengel. Oh, 
Defensively, it looks like things are going to stay the same where we got Olivia Horman behind the plate, Entity at one, Sawyer at two, Peruka at short, Capatina at three, Langford in left, Mostad in center, Mosley in right. Halfmeyer comes back out to pitch. Myers first pitch is ball one. No count to the leadoff batter. Ball four puts a runner on one. Number two batter, Carly Wendinger, second baseman, comes out. Pitch comes in for a strike. Counts now on one. See if Mankato gives Winninger the sign. There's the steal. BD able to steal second base. Count goes one and one. Now the runner in scoring position with BD. Winninger steps back in. Nobody out here for Mankato. Ball high. Ball four, put another runner on base. So Wendinger and Beanie on base. The pitcher, Kalen Stengel, comes out here to hit. Stengel had a double her last time out. Pitch coming for a strike. Take strikes two there. Hormel is going on to first with the ball. Runner's going to be safe. Pop fly. Entity calls this one. They get the out. So Wendinger and Beater held up at one and two. 
Petzl, the first baseman, comes out here to hit. She had a fly at her last time out. Went back to the pitcher last time. Mankato with a double steal. Been a defensive miscommunication there. Nobody on third to throw the ball to. That first pitch was a ball. Ball two. Better get hit by a pitch. That's going to load the bases. Emily Hacker, the shortstop, comes out to bat. She got on hit by a pitch last time out. She's got the bases loaded here. One out for Mankato. That first pitch is ball low. Swing strike one. Count goes one one. Ball goes down the left field side. Going to bring the count to one and two. Changeup comes in, they get the batter looking. Runners are held up. Two down here for Mankato, the base is loaded. They send out the third baseman, Jada Swall. She's one for one with a single on the day. She hits a line drive out towards the right center. That's gonna score a couple. Petzl able to go over to third on that one. Swall held up at one. We score now 7-0 here in favor of Mankato. The number seven batter comes out, the catcher, Dusty Reeser. Ball one. Reeser went down swinging the last time out. Saw foul ball. Count rolls to one on one. There's a fly ball over to the right field side. Mosley's going to call that one. That'll be in her glove. They'll get the out. So a good bit of glove work by Mosley will end that inning. Mankato able to put two more on to bring the score 7-0 in favor of Mankato. Top of the third inning, we'll have Rita Langford, the left fielder, Tatum Sawyer, the second baseman, and Emma Peruka, the shortstop, to bat. Looks like defensively, everything is going to stay the same for Mankato. Petzl on one, Wendinger on two, Hacker at short, Swalla on three, Stengel in left, Beatty in center, Staunton in right, Reister behind the plate, Stengel pitching.
Rita Langford, the left fielder, comes out here to bat. This is her first time to bat in the game. Ball one. Call strike. Counts now one on one. Ball inside. Count goes to two and one. Ball high. Three and one count for Langford. Should coming around swinging on that one. Well, even the I'll bring a full count, three and two. We get Langford swinging to bring out Tatum Sawyer, the second baseman. All right, ready, ready, ready. Sawyer, the number nine batter for Northfield. All the way through, all the way through. Second base, number three, Tatum Sawyer. Be ready, be ready. Sawyer follows that one away. Two one count here for Sawyer. Ball high. Counts now three and one. Strike on the outside corner is going to bring a full count here to Sawyer. One down for Northfield. Nobody on. There's a ground ball that's going to get past the glove of Stengel. Hacker picked that one up and throw it on first to get the out. Be the top of the lineup coming out here. Emma Peruca, the shortstop. Pitch comes in on the outside corner, strike one.
Two down, nobody on. One on one count. Pruger follows that one down the left field side. count. There's a fly ball over the left field side that's going to drop in between left and center. Brooke is going to come in. She's got a double. Center fielder Grace Mostad is going to come out to hit. Mostad had a ground out, went over to the shortstop last time out. Mossad comes around on that one to bring the count on one. Northfield for the first time with a runner in scoring position. Comes around swinging on that one. Count goes over two. Swing strike three is going to retire the side. Northfield's going to leave one on base there. Let's see if Northfield comes out with any defensive changes here halfway through the game. Wind picking up a little bit. Correction to the earlier call. Wind is actually blowing out, straight out from home plate out to center field. Looks like we're going to have a change of pitcher here. Halfmeyer is going to go over to shortstop. You're burning Grace Most had to pitch. Sawyer is going to take over left field. That'll put Peruca at second. Lindsay Erickson in center field. So your defensive lineup is going to be Entity at one, Peruka at two, Halfmeyer at short, Capitina at three, Sawyer in left, Erickson in center, Mosley in right, Horman behind the plate, and Grace Malstead pitching. Face the right-handed hitter, left fielder Harper Stengel. 
Stenner lays down a bunt. Mostad picks it up, throws it over first to get it out. So the one three put out has one down. Brings out number 10, Kenley Staunton, the right fielder. Ball high. There's a line drive that goes right in the glove of Baruka. She'll throw it to first for the double, for the single. Four three put out has two down for Mankato. Madeline Beatty, the top of the lineup, comes out here. Beatty, the center fielder, has gotten on with a couple of walks. She'll take First pitch is the ball there. Pop fly ball. Halfmeyer calls that one, they can bring it in. That's one, two, three. Leading off in the top of the fourth inning for Northfield is going to be Leah Entity. Followed by the shortstop, Christian Halfmeyer. Center fielder, Leah Lindsay Erickson. First baseman Entity 0 for 1 so far in the game. She had a fly out that went over to left field. See if she can recreate the same magic from the last game. Second time out, she had a solid triple over to the right field side. So Entity steps on with empty bases, with nobody out, and a 7-0 deficit to start working on. Takes that first pitch for a called strike. Break any action as the catcher goes to change her glove. We have a couple th warm up throws here. Looks like the catcher's glove actually broke. So we'll check out the equipment. Give the nod, and he's going to step back in. Ball high. Count goes one one. Ball ball off the right field side. Counts now one and two. Falls that one straight back. Counts now one or two. Okay. I need to come around swinging on that one. 
That'll be one down for Northfield. Sends up a shortstop, Kristen Halfmeyer. Halfmeyer had a pop fly that went over just outside the foul line, but they were able to bring it in on the right field side last time. Ball low. Follows that one away. Counts now one on one. Ball high. Two and one count. One down, nobody on. 7-0 lead for Mankato. There's a ground ball. It's going to go up the center. Half hour will be in with a single. So with a runner on one, center fielder Lindsey Erickson comes out to bat. Erickson got on with a walker last time out. Comes around swinging on that one. Counts all in one. There's a soft ground ball that's going to go off of the glove of Petzl. They're able to recover and get the out. So it's actually a 4 3 put out there. But the ground out does advance the batter. So they got Halfmeyer at two. Ellie Capitina coming out to bat. Takes first pitch for a ball. Ball low. Strike on the inside corner. Count goes two and one. Ball low. Ball four is going to put a runner on first and second. Capitina at one and Halfmeyer at two. Olivia Horman, the catcher, comes out. Ball high. <laughs> Ball two. <clears throat> Counts two and oh.
comes in for a called strike. Two and one count for the catcher. That one's falling away. Count goes to two and two. Ball high. Full count here for Horman. She's got a runner in Halfmeyer in scoring position at two. Another one on first in Capitino. There's a foul ball down the right field side. Counts three and two. Payoff pitch. Ball back and away. This will be the eighth pitch of the plate appearance for Orman. Stengel at 75 pitches overall, 43 of those for strikes, 31 for ball. He called for a strike on that one to get the batter looking. And Northfield is strand two in that one. They've left four runners on base so far. Mankato has left three. The end result of that is Mankato's ahead, 7 0. It's the bottom of the fourth inning. The two, three, four batters, Wendinger, Stengel, and Petzl, will come out here to hit. Defensively, see if Northfield has any changes. <laughs> so it looks like it's going to be Langford in center. Mosley in right field. Sawyer and left. Greenfield is entity at one, Peruka at short, Halfmeyer at Halfmeyer shortstop, Peruka at two, Capitina at three. Mostad's pitching, Foreman catching. This is Wendinger coming out to hit. She got on with a couple of walks. We'll call a swing strike on that one. This pop fly ball goes right to the glove of Capitino. They get the out. That's one down for Mankato. Brings out the pitcher, Kellen Stengel. Stengel had a fly out that went over to the glove of Entity at first the last time. Her first time out, she had a double that went off the wall. First pitch is high, ball one. Better comes around swinging on that one, counts one and one. Yeah. 
Foul tip back to the glove. Counts now one and two. Pitches in the dirt, bringing the count to two and two. Two two count, one out, nobody on. Ball high brings a full count to the pitcher. Ball four, put a runner on one. The number four batter, Petzl, the first baseman, comes out here to hit. Stingle's going to go on second on a pass ball. Two on count to Petzl. The pitch misses, brings count three and one. Follows that one away. So we have full count. Again, the pouch is all the way. Count remains full. Ball four is going to put another runner on. Stengel and Petzl on, on second and first. Emily Hacker comes out here. She's the shortstop. She was hit by a pitcher last time out. She hits a fly ball over to center. Langford is able to bring that one in. Sacrifice Phi is going to advance the runner to third. Petzl's held up at one, so they got runners at the corners. Two out. Gina Swallow, the third baseman, comes out here to hit. strike. Should come around on that one. Counts now 0 2. Ball high. Counts now one and two. Swing strike three is going to get the batter and they're going to retire the side. Mankato strands a couple of runners there. The top of the fifth inning. Northfield is going to send out the 891 batters, Langford, Sawyer, and Peruca.
defensively, it looks like things stay the same for Mankato. Petzl at one, Wenger, Wendinger at two, Hacker at short, Swallow at three. Reasoner behind the plate. Stingle pitching. Stangle in left field. Beatty in center. Staunton in right. Ball one. Swing and strike two brings Cal one on one. There's a fly ball out towards center field. It's going to go right into the glove of Beatty. With one down, the left fielder, Tatum Sawyer, the nine batter, comes out. Pitch hits on the outside corner, brings count one one. Check swing foul to bring Tatum back to hit. She's got a one and two count. Follows that one over to the left field side into the net. Count stays one and two. Two count. There's a pop fly that's going to go onto the ground. No. Beatty able to trap that one out in the center field. Diving catch. Good bit of glove work there. That's going to get Sawyer. That sends out number 12, Emma Peruca. Emma, the leadoff batter, playing shortstop. Correction, now playing second base. She's one for two. She had a double her first time out. That one went over to the left center. Takes first pitch for a ball.
ball high. Ball three. Three oh count for Baruka. North with a two down here, looking to start a rally in the top of the fifth. That was going to clip the corner, be called for a strike. It'll bring the count to three and one. Followed over to the left field side. Fly ball goes into the glove of Swallow. That's going to get the out. That'll retire the side. <laughs> Due up for Mankato, the 7 8 9 batters, Reasoner, Stengel, and Stunton. Looks like we'll have a change of pitcher here. Kennedy Larson going to come in to pitch. <laughs> Lauren Halfmeyer is going to be over in left field. Pitch Christensen takes over the duties at second base. So your infield is Entity on one, Christensen at two, Halfmeyer at short, Capitina at third, Lauren Halfmeyer is in left, Langford in center, Mosley in right, Kennedy Larson is pitching, Olivia Horman is catching. <laughs> Kennedy Larson's pitching debut here for Northfield so this year. She's going to face the number seven batter, Destiny Reasoner. Reasoner over two so far in the day. She had a fly out and a swing strike last time out. and stepped in to pitch. Her first one goes ball high. <laughs> Reasoner follows that one away over to left field side. Good catch by a fan over outside the fence. They throw that one right back in. Reesner steps back into the box with a 1 1 count. Comes around swinging on that one, I'm bringing a count 1 and 2.
Ball high. 2-2 two -two count. Ball high. Counts on three and two. That one's fouled away out of play over the left field side. This will be the seventh pitch of the plate appearance for Reisner. Fells that one away, comes off her helmet. Looks like she's going to be all right. Swing strike three gets the batter. That's one down for North for Mankato. Left fielder Harper Stangle comes out to bat. She hits a fly ball over the left field side. Halfmeyer calls that one. She gloves it in. Gets the out. Ella Hudspeth is going to come in here to hit. This is Ella's first plate appearance in the game. Takes first pitch for a called strike. Ball low. Counts now one one. Ball high. Two and one count. Ball three. Counts on three and one. Ball four is going to put a runner on one. And bring out number three, Madeline Beatty. She's the top of the lineup for Mankato. She's 0 for 1 so far in the day. She's gotten on with a couple of walks. Takes that pitch for a strike. That was going to come off the glove of beat or off the helmet of Beatty. So to put two runners on, Hudspeth at two, Beatty at one, and Wendinger come out to hit. Wendinger is 0 for 1. She's got a couple of walkouts and a flyout. Takes that pitch for a called strike. Ball.
follow. That one's followed straight back into the net. Counts now one and two. Again, followed back and away. Count remains one and two. Pitch just misses low and inside, brings the count two and two. Falls that one straight back. There's a line drive that's going to go out to left center. Double will score a run. So the drive one in and have a couple of runners in scoring position with Beattie and Wendinger, which brings out the pitcher, number seven, Kalen Stengel. Stengel one for two in the day. She's got a double, a walk, and a fly out. Takes that pitch for a ball. Called strike. One strike. Ball high. Come around, swing on that one to bring full count. It's a pop fly that's going to go over towards left field. Half Mario will call that one. She'll bring it in, but it'll come out of her glove. That'll score a run. That's going to end the game. Ten runs after five innings. So Northfield unsuccessful against Mankato East. The return to Rock Field Thursday to take on Albert Lee. Yeah. 
So again, we'll come back with a live stream Thursday at 5 o'clock from Rock Field. Until then, thanks for watching, Raider fans. The end from Thomas Field here in Mankato East. Mankato East 10, Northfield Raiders 0.